Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I have got a very special interview for you today. It's with Stacy. Hello Stacy. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. We are actually today uh, in the same time zone. We're both in the UK. So we are going to go through, Stacy has a wonderful success story, which is actually, she's reminded me in the book Behind Closed Doors. So we are going to go back to the beginning of where she was at when things were not going so great. And then we're going to run it all the way forward until she shares the results. So Stacy, jump in and start wherever you want to start at the beginning of this journey for you. Okay. Well, um, my specific person I've known since I was 17 years old uh, and I'm 40 like this month so it's been a very very long time and uh I remember the first time I saw him you know and I was just like gobsmacked when I saw him it was, it was, <laughs> it was big, and I didn't even know why I was so gobsmacked I saw him and I was just like and it was like oh I'm staring at him for you know and uh and then we ended up becoming like really good friends and and then we kind of drifted apart we had a bit of a thing because we were young, you know, young yeah. people. So we had a bit of a thing. And um, and then we kind of just drifted apart. And I met another partner and had my son. And then that ended. Then I met another partner, had my daughter. Then that ended. Yeah. And then, uh, another guy ended up in my life. And he was just disastrous. So I don't even want to mention <laughs> what happened. Yeah. And then... So my SP then ended up back in my life really randomly through Facebook because um, I'd asked, I'd literally put a post on there saying, um, I, I need a man with a drill because I needed something drilling in my <laughs> He'd messaged me out the blue and said, I've got a drill. And I was like, oh my God. Wow. Him. And I was like, this is so strange. And my friends were like, oh my God, you haven't spoken to him for so long. And I was like, I know, it's really strange. So anyway, he'd been he'd just gone for a break of himself and mm. so had I. And, and we ended up just reconnecting and being friends as you do. And uh, it kind of got a little bit further along and then he would back off. And then he'd come back again and he'd back off. And, uh, and I was just like, oh, and, you know, trying to make excuses for him. You know, yeah. him, uh, well, he's not on quite a relationship. And so that's probably why, and et cetera, and blah, blah, blah. And then, so I tried not to make it about me, but I didn't know anything about manifesting then. So I tried to like not make it so much about me and was just like, well, he's got some issues and he needs to deal with them himself, you know? Yeah. And then it got to a point where it, we started getting closer, 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 closer. And, and we was pretty much in a relationship without the word relationship being attached to it. And he works away a lot. So he'd always work away. So from fr Monday to Friday, he'd be working in another city or, you know, sometimes not even in the country, he'd be working away. And I used to get really raggy when he wouldn't text me or phone me one of the days so if he was yeah. like super busy and then he wouldn't message me and then I'd be like well obviously he doesn't care about me and, yeah, you know, yeah. Thought, well I'm not his priority so then I'd have a go at him about it yeah and he'd be like oh I can't deal with this you're too insecure <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> kind of stuff. yeah yeah. And, and then it got to a point where he just went to me he went no I'm not doing this anymore I don't want to be with you and oh yeah my, my world just shattered yeah I remember just I could literally feel it like in my chest yeah. I was just like oh my god what do I do and I was so desperate yeah so desperate um and I was just like I've, I've got to find out I've got to find out what to do I've got to find out what to do and uh, I was already on like a, um on a quite a spiritual path then I was meditating quite a lot yeah because I'd just become a Reiki master so I was meditating quite a lot so I thought there yeah. must be some kind of spiritual way of fixing <laughs> this you know and so I just googled it how do I get my boyfriend back and you popped up oh okay yeah, yeah. So that's what happened and then I was just obsessively watching <laughs> videos, you know um 
you know, with the, the self love and your video with Dan, um, where you were talking together about um, everyone is you pushed out, and it was like you was just having like a chat, and I think it was like quite a long video for you guys. Yeah. I used to watch that video every single day. Wow. Every day I watched it to remind myself that it wasn't him, it was me. Mm. I every single day every single day yeah. so I do the I do the self-love meditations every yeah. single day and I've watched that video every single day and yeah. uh, I think it got to a point it was just so random because he um I was driving to pick my daughter up from school and as I was driving down the road he was driving in the opposite direction and he saw and this was this was about six months later and he was driving in the opposite direction and he saw me and I saw him and I was like oh my god that's so weird because I was like, why would he be here you know yeah yeah and uh <laughs> and then I got to the school and I got a text message off him and it said I know you saw me I saw you I really want to see you again and I was just like oh my god this is amazing yeah. I, did I did it you know six months so, so can I ask Stacey, when you, when he said, I don't want to see you anymore. Yeah. How long after that did you start getting online and, and then learning about everyone's you pushed out self-love and all of that? Was, was it straight right. away? Right away. Yeah. Straight away. Okay. Yeah, right away. Like, like, I think like the next day. Wow. Like, there must be something. There must be something. I can yeah. Do. I yeah. So I was like desperate. Yes. Yes. But, it's this is the thing with my story because this is like this is a song that happened over and over it's like I didn't get him back and keep him till now yeah I lost him again and then I had to get him back and then lost yeah. him again and I had to get him back because I would do yeah. the same things over and over again the same patterns yeah. yeah over and over again I'd get angry about silly little things and then he'd get angry and then yeah leave me alone <laughs> that's what would happen yeah so I'd be like right okay and it got to a point where and it, that was literally a pattern it must have been every six months yeah the same thing would happen over mm. and over again and this is like this so I see with the anger was it you'd get angry because you felt like you weren't getting enough or you get yeah. angry was it that yeah. mainly exactly yeah. What it was. yeah it was yeah. I thought that everything else was more important to him than I yeah. was yeah that's what it was yeah and uh and so you know I get really angry with him and uh and this happened several times and so I'd have to go back do the meditations again mm. you know and uh, it got to a point where, which was probably about a year ago, I wanted to join, I wanted to, I wanted to connect with other like manifestors, basically. I wanted to be able to connect with like a group of people. And I tried Facebook, yeah, you know, you get Facebook groups and stuff. And I just I weren't connecting with anyone there. I just I just wasn't. I wasn't feeling like I was connecting with anyone there. Yeah. I wanted people to talk to about it. Yes. So none of my friends did it, you know. And even if I tried to explain it to them, they didn't get it. It was mm. it was it was one of those things. So and I was desperate to connect with other people. I thought yeah. if I can talk to other people about it, they can hold me accountable and I'll yeah. be accountable and you know it'll all be good. So I found uh, someone else who was um, doing the doing YouTube videos about it, and they had like a group. So you had yep. to, to join their group, but they had like a group, and that's what I was after was a group. I didn't really yes. want because I remember I emailed you. So yeah. do you know what? So much has happened. It's like I'm all over the place. <laughs> I've emailed you for counselling as well. Yeah. yeah, and we'd exchange messages. And I remember you saying to me in those messages, you need you need to be able to like revise some stuff. Like you've got to revise revise for yourself, but also revise for him. Okay. He'd had quite a traumatic yeah. childhood as well, and I was like, right, okay. So um, I joined this um this group um and I met some amazing friends who were yeah. all manifestors there, and we had to do these classes. Yeah. So there was a revision class there, and it was what ah. I wanted. And I was like, "Oh, fantastic revision class!" Yeah. So um, did the revision class, and 
and I did all my review and literally the amount of stuff I've revised is unreal. Like wow. unreal because we was made to do it in a way we had to do it in blocks yes so we, had like, so we had like a spreadsheet and we'd have all the things that we needed to revise what yeah. the belief was because of that thing that happened what caused yeah. the belief and, and all this stuff and it was just and I just had like probably about 200 things to revise wow so yeah so I would literally go I would go to work and I would come home and then I would just lie on my bed and I'd take like say 10 things yep and 10 scenes that I'd created that needed to be revised and then I'd just do them one after and so I'd do one till it was like there do the next one till it was there do the next one till it felt real every single one wow next day, do the same thing just constant revision revision within a week oh my god yes it was like my head was going to explode oh, yeah. <laughs> it was because I just and I was like really irritable and I was like I don't know what's going on and it must have just been all these things changing within me and I just yeah it. and I remember going to my friend going I just need a hug she was like why and I was going I don't even know <laughs> 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 and so, so yeah once I'd done like those revisions so uh, a lot it felt like a, it just felt like I was just calm yeah once I would got past that really weird irritated stage so Stacey you revised one scene one time then the next scene one time no so it'd be like so I'd take one scene yeah and I'd loop it until it felt real until it okay like it was quite real you know, yeah you know what I mean? like it felt as real as it could feel and yeah then one to the next one but it was in one sitting it. like you wouldn't go back over this scene uh, next week you just did it no, one, just, just on did a loop. Once. Wow, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and so yeah, so but once I'd done those, I'd found that I was a lot calmer as a person. Yeah. And so I was like, I was not being as I didn't feel like I needed to get as much from my partner as I as yeah. I, I did before. And I was just quite chill actually. And yeah, it's a work. And if he didn't message me, I'd just be like, okay, whatever, I'd probably be yeah. done. Yeah. And I just I just stopped being so worried yep. about it. Yeah. You know? So so yeah, but what I found was a good thing that I that I would do as well to help with impressing my beliefs. So you know mm. like I'm a priority, I'm important, yep. I matter. I would imagine a friend in front of me saying to me, wow, your boyfriends always treat you like a priority, don't they? Ah. Uh, you know what? They do actually. Yeah. And that would be and that would be a good way of comp because yes. unless they were treating me like a priority, that wouldn't happen. That conversation wouldn't happen. So you always yes. got yeah. so that's how I would help to impress my um my affirmations brilliant so, so yeah so the, the, I try to do those like imagine conversations with yep. friends like always someone that I trust like my mom or you know and you know just about a belief that I wanted to have and just yep. have them say, you are this and I'd say yes I am nice so it's like a really really good way of like yeah. in my beliefs now so if I ever want to believe even if it's just something simple like I'm a really lucky person I'm yes like someone telling me I'm lucky and I'll yeah just, just confirm it back mm. and and that's it so yes yeah, nice. so it was kind of yeah so at this point now where we're at now everything seems okay it's like it's so like okay so you revised yeah he wanted to catch up with you when you both saw each other at, uh, in the cars uh, so yeah. what happened after that so after that um so when we saw each other in the car so that was the yeah. first time yeah we split up and then I think after that, probably about six months after that, we split up again. And okay. I imagined us walking on a beach together. So every yeah. night I would imagine us walking on a beach together. And then he, after that, he messaged me about four weeks after that, saying that, you know, he really missed me and he wanted to catch up. And then about four months after that, he took me on holiday and we walked along the beach together. And that was our first holiday. Uh, where did you go? Uh, we went to... Um, Cavos 
which was a bit young for us. To Where's be fair. that? It's in, is it in, oh God, which it's one of the Greek islands. Yeah. Yeah. I nice. It yeah, it's, it, it was nice. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Mm. Lovely. The weather was lovely. So, so yeah, so it was, um, it was, it was just like, it was like this constant back and forth. So I was always doing the, the self-love meditations and I was always yeah. trying to, but it got to a point where um, I just felt like I need to do something. More. Like I felt like I was missing something and that's like where the revision came in. Yeah. When the revision came in, which I'd done about two, it was probably two years ago now. Yeah. So we done the after I'd done that, I felt like I picked up quite a lot, like a lot of the stuff that was obviously sitting inside of me. Yeah, I seemed to just go because it it I, I yeah. changed it, I changed my inner state. Yeah. So um, because as we know, it's that stuff, unrevised stuff, stuff that is still like Neville always says, the past is still alive. It's got a live wire from the past yeah. all the way to us today. So your specific person says something. And then it reactivates that live wire every single time. So if you go back and revise, you take the fish hook out of your neck and you're yeah. not getting dragged along all the time. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly it. And Brilliant. It's, it's, it's amazing. It literally is. And I know that there's, there's probably some other things that I need to revise because sometimes it'll yeah. say something and I'll go, oh, yeah. I said that for. And I'll yeah. go, well, yes, something there. There's something there and I need to, I need to, I need to look at that. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. Wow. That's so great. So you got back together for the final time. Yeah. How long ago? A couple of years ago? A couple of years ago. Yeah. Probably yeah. about three years ago. Okay. Yeah. So wow. even though we was together then, I still wanted to go on and carry on with like um, meeting other man manifestors. And so I'd done all that revising, even yeah. though we were still together. Yeah. Um, but I did feel myself change. Like I just yeah. felt myself just, oh, yeah. I don't need to worry so much now. And yeah. I think that was a big thing for me was, was the revision, doing all That's the revision. That's wonderful. I yeah. don't think I've ever heard someone doing 200 um, revisions. I, oh. I think you're the one that I've heard that's done the most. <laughs> it was absolutely well done. Yes. Yeah. Well, everyone in our group had to do it, you say. Yeah. So we were just like, oh, yeah. my. everyone was the same as me. Everyone was going, I feel really weird and angry and frustrated. <laughs> and I was going, I think we should all just meditate, just meditate on nothing, you know, just try and clear the air. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Well, it, it does. You go back into before you revise, you got to think of the incident. As you yeah. think of the incident, it hits you in the old emotions. So yeah. it does bring stuff up stuff until up you, times. you know, yeah, that's, yeah, it. that's yeah. terrific. So your specific person, does he live near you? Are you quite close in yes. where you're living? It's literally down the road. So it's like a two minute drive from my right. house. So right. yeah, I get yeah. to see him all the time. But just yeah. recently, like just before the COVID thing hit, yeah. uh, because I'd been like imagining having a new house. Cause I live in like a little flat with my kids and I yeah. want like, a nice house with a garden. Yes. So I've been imagining for that. And then just randomly out the blue, like this was before the COVID stuff, he went, why don't we just move in together? And I was like, oh, well, I wasn't expecting my house to come like that, but i'll take it so <laughs> so that's what that's as far as we got and then covid hit and it literally just blew everything up it wait yeah that. it's put a yeah, yeah. so we've kind of got a delay on that at the moment yeah. but i don't mind yeah i don't okay. mind I'm yeah if you're me. if you're really if you're good within yourself your relationship's good because you're good within yourself you don't mind waiting no you don't that's it you just yeah. don't yeah. So has he got a garden? Has he got the things that you wanted in a house? Has he got? Yes. Them? Yes. He's got all yeah. those things. But I said I'd rather we sold his house and then got a different one somewhere else together yeah. because I kind of want to move out of Birmingham. Yeah. Because it's a bit. Yeah. Birmingham, isn't it? So, okay. <laughs> anyone who's not from the UK won't understand, but Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
to be boring. So yeah. it's nicer places to live in the UK. So we said we'd like to get out of Birmingham because it's such yeah. a big city and it's very city life. Yes. You know? yeah. So and I, I'm more, I want to be in the countryside. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we said we'll, uh, We'll wait until all this is over because he didn't get any work during COVID. Wow. Like, and yeah, he literally, mine was great. I got more work when yeah. I got COVID. Like, I, yeah. I got more work, but he got less. Yeah, and less, and he ended up just having none. Yeah, so was, wow, that's um, tough, isn't it? It was, yeah. It was a really hard hit on him. Mm. So, so he's <laughs> like, having to start from scratch again and yeah. not build himself back up. Build but, himself back up. It's just one of them things. Yeah, it's just life. You, we yeah. don't have. We think we have control, but we don't. Yeah, that's you know, we it. can influence certain things by doing certain things that we talk about a lot on this channel and and just in terms of LOA and all, all of that. But yeah, it's we do not have control, and the sooner you can make peace with that, you that's know, it. I yeah. think it's um, it's it's when you take a hit you take the hit and then you go okay what am I going to learn from that and how do I get back up and yeah but yeah we don't um we don't have control we do not that's and that's the humbling part that I think is not such a bad thing because once we get to the point where we think we can ha you know we can control that's when we learn the hard lesson and then yeah. that, that's when a lot of people fall apart because it's like hang on a minute, I thought with the law of attraction I could make anything happen and all of that. Well, you can do a lot with law of attraction, but you, do yeah. not ha you don't have the right to control and you cannot control, especially where nature is concerned. Yeah. Nature, nature will win yeah. over you every time, yeah. yeah. So this is it. It's even with you know with you know manifesting, it yeah. has to, it has to come within the laws of nature. So if you want to manifest, you know, yeah. uh, a new one you're not going to wake up one morning it's just going to be on your wrist no there's going to be a sequence of events that's going yes to do it or bring yeah. it to you either yeah. way yeah so so you know yeah. so it's always within the laws of nature so i think the law of nature kind of trumps everything i do too i yeah. do too i do too so, but it was nice what you shared about your imaginal scene of walking on the beach with him yeah. and then you end up experiencing that um yeah. you know yeah. you, you didn't know how that would happen. You just kept sticking to the imaginal scene. So, and the thing yeah. was with that imaginal scene as well, it wasn't my intention because I was going to sleep at night and I was, you know, you go to bed and you're thinking the wrong things. Yes. So I just imagine something nice. Yes. Something nice. So I could go to sleep because I wouldn't go to sleep. Before. Yes. I would yeah. just be ruminating, ruminating, ruminating. So I thought, yeah. have a nice scene, just imagine it. And then, so it wasn't my intention to go on holiday with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just something not, it was like comforting for me. Yes, yeah. It was just yeah. something comforting. So he wasn't even in the scene. It was just like, I could feel his hand in my hand. Yeah, I nice. his hand under my feet and I could just see the horizon. I just yeah. see it. And I'd just keep walking and walking and walking until I fell asleep yeah that's beautiful more, yeah it was more of a trick to get myself to go to sleep yeah but it, it weren't until after I got back from the holiday I was like Damn, yeah imagine that I'm not, uh -huh. <laughs> you know? so yeah isn't that interesting because you were doing it not to manifest you were not doing to it to like a lot of people have trouble sleeping it's terrible yeah and when you got to get up and go to work and you've had no sleep you feel awful so yeah that is that I'm glad you shared that because that'll be a really good a little uh nugget for people that yeah. do struggle with sleep Please. and I like how you kept walking along the beach until you fell asleep that's I brilliant asleep. yeah I'll just keep walking until I fell asleep just but keep even walking. now I'll do at night I do sleep meditations yeah so there's there's a lovely one by Jason Stevenson Stevenson yes mm -hmm. I, I know I use it too yeah yeah so he does a sleep meditation called time travel yep go through different doors during the yes. sleep meditation to take you into different parts of your future and you might yeah. imagine what happened there so it's a good way to help you yeah. imagine at bed mm. you know but also help you kind of just not off yeah just, not off yeah, yeah for sure I love his voice he's just got oh. an easy voice easy yeah, yeah. everyone I speak to says that it's because I love his yeah voice. yeah yes just fall yeah. to sleep to him beautiful yeah yeah 
So let me ask you, if you could say to whoever's listening to this today, because a lot of people are back where you used to be and they're going to be listening to this and they're going to, you know, obviously look for inspiration as to what they can do. If you could say, okay, here's the top three things that I think are the most important of all for me, because I've had, you know, your story is very similar to mine, Stacey. We had multiple relationships. They all ended the same yeah. because we didn't understand what we were doing and what was kept causing the same end result. And you get to a point where you go, it's, it's not I'm picking the wrong man. I'm the common denominator. You can't avoid knowing that at some point. So yeah. if you look back and go, okay, now I've got my relationship to stick it works and I understand what I did that made it not work and end up in that same scenario every time. What would be your top three things that you think are the most beneficial to learn? Oh, joke number one. Yeah. Chill out. Literally. Chill out. Just oh, yeah. chill out. Stop looking for problems. Stop just yes. Chill out. Yes. <laughs> just chill out just yeah. leave people alone <laughs> leave people <laughs> alone yes leave people alone to do their stuff you do your stuff and just chill out yeah like, you've got to just chill out because i think yeah. that was my main problem was i was not chilled out i was yeah. waiting for something bad to happen every day i was yeah. waiting for it yeah you know? and then and you it, end up creating dramas because of it yeah exactly yeah. so it was yeah that nice. was it First thing, first thing yeah. of all, just chill out. I yeah. know it's easier said than done, but you yeah, are, you but are. it's true. It's a simple thing, but it takes practice. Yeah, it does. It takes practice, and yeah. So yeah, second thing, revision. Yeah, revision is not like, mass. Sorry, there's a fly fly around my face. Um, revision, I think, was a, a massive thing for me. It was a huge yeah. thing for me. Um, I wouldn't say you need to revise 200 things like I did. Yeah. But I think what I think the best, I think what you got to do with revision is always go to first cause. So if you've got an issue where people keep abandoning you, yep. rather than revise every time you was abandoned, go back to the very first time and revise that one. Yeah. And hopefully it will yes. correct the rest. The, tra so the trajectory, the yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. So, um, because anything in between then should be revised with it. Yeah, you got the time, of course, revise them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because that that'd be great. Yeah, um, but yeah, revision. I think was a massive, massive thing for me. Massive mm. thing. Nice. And um, and second, imagine your new beliefs. So, you know, your beliefs that you're a priority, you're important, um, yeah. okay, whatever they are. Um, obviously, because I would always listen to my, I listen to mine in my yep. ears while I'm walking the dark and I'll listen yep. to them while I'm walking and things like that. Yeah. Um, listen to them as you fall asleep, etc. Yes. But if you really want to, if you really want to cement them in there, imagine, imagine talking to someone that you've got that belief. Yeah. And I think it really helps to, because it impresses it on the subconscious mind. I think it yeah. really helps to do that. Yeah. So that would be my, my top. Mm. Yeah, my top. Do you still, do you still do, I mean, obviously you, you've learned to chill out and you still yeah. practice that. Yeah. Um, the revision and the affirmations, do you still do those on a regular yeah. basis? My, yeah. my affirmations I do, yeah, every day yeah. when I, because I take my dog for a walk every morning, although I've yeah. just changed my dog, just manifested a new job. So yeah. Yeah. Changed, so I'm not sure what's going on with the dog walking at the yeah. moment. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, but every morning when I walk the dog, so I record them. So I'll record my affirmations. And, yeah. Um, so, so that they always follow one after another. So I'll just have a whole bunch of sentences for, say, say I want to be a priority. Yep. So I would have a whole different bunch of statements for being a priority. So like, yep. I, would, I am a priority. I feel like a priority. I believe I'm a priority. Ah, so nice. I love when people treat me like a priority. I know that I'm worthy of being treated like a priority. Oh, lovely. Together. And yep. then I'll just have them on loop and just keep listening to them over and over again. So I've got literally on my phone, I've just got like probably about 20 of them now. Just yes. 
clusters for different beliefs. Yeah. So whichever one I feel like I need to listen to that day. Mm. Go, but normally I find that I'll get to a point where I'll listen to them so much and then it's kind of like, yeah, I get it now. It's like, it's, yeah. I get it. Like, yeah. it's like you feel like you're fed up and listening to it. So now I'll move on to the next one. Not yes. And then yeah. I'll make a new one. So I've got quite a few going on. Um, but yeah, I always find that once they've been, I find that once they've been pressed, normally I don't need to go back. Yeah. So I'm quite, I'm quite good. So yeah. it's always something new for me. It's like a new thing that I'm, I'm, I'm finding. And I'm finding some all the time, all the yeah. time. Yeah. Know? So yeah. recently, I was, um, I was trying to sort, um, because I do have a bit of a back garden, but I have to share it with someone. Yeah. So I tried to sort my back garden out, and uh, there was all old stuff there from my ex partner before. Yeah. And I was like fuming, trying to clean all this stuff, and I was going, "Oh God, the bloody men!" You know, as you do. Yes. Yeah. Why have I always got to deal with everyone else's rubbish? And I was like, "Yeah." there's a belief there's a belief that one. so that's another one that I had to then work on so I notice them I know, always yeah. notice them when I'm talk, chattering to myself you know probably yeah. complaining about something to myself and I'll yeah. go yeah. There it is. that's the one that I need to sort yeah. out and then I'll create some affirmations for them and maybe imagine that I'm the opposite of what I've said in you know, yeah yeah, it's all just, it's it's yeah. just as you go along. It's just a journey. It is, you're sweeping along. up. You know, it's yeah. like when you cook in the kitchen, you know, you cook a meal and you sweep up the floor afterwards or it's like, and then you might cook again tomorrow or in a few days, if you're working, you might've cooked for a few days in a row, but you still need to sweep up the floor again. It's, yeah. it's, it's an ongoing maintenance and ongoing this thing. is the yeah. same. It's so the same. Yeah. Wow. This that is just honestly, you must feel like a totally different person. I do. I do. I literally feel like a completely different person. Yeah. Yeah. It's profound this knowledge and why they do not teach this at school. I will never yeah. know because it's more important than triangles. Oh yeah. It's like it's it's literally it changes your whole life. It changes your whole hmm. life. You you have got to stick at it. It's not something that you can just yeah, you know, I think if you're someone that's going to go, right, I'm going to manifest my SP and then that's it. That's mm -hmm. all I want. Yeah. Like you're probably not going to do so well no. because there's so much more to it. Yeah. You know? it's, there's just a lot more to it. Yeah. I never, and I, I had literally got to the point where, sorry, my daughter's just, <laughs> I just heard that. Sorry. She likes to manifest as well. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pray at Phoebe's new flat? Yes. For the night. Nice. <laughs> she a natural to... moment. That's it. Yeah. 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 She likes to do a bit of manifesting herself. She writes. Good. And yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. So, so yeah. So she's quite good. And then now my dog's here. Oh. Um, so I can't even remember what I was saying. Ah, uh, what were we talking about? I've lost the track too. Oh, that was it. That's what I was saying. I was saying. So I got to a point where I think it was probably after the second time we'd finished. Yeah. And, you know, I had to manifest him back. But I got to a point where I stopped making it about manifesting my SP. I literally stopped. I was just like, I've just got to make this about myself now. I've yeah. literally got to just change me. And if yeah. it comes back or not, it's not a big deal anymore. Yeah. And I had to get to that point where... Yeah. I would have to tell myself each day there are like seven billion people on this planet. Why am I making it about one person? I know. Why I am know. I it about this one person. Yeah. I change myself. Whatever yeah. happens, happens. Yeah. And I and I still always got what I wanted anyway. And you know what's interesting? I think that's a pivotal point for a lot of people that yeah. that's where the letting go makes this real you yeah. are no longer trying to force manipulate use the law of attraction use the law of projection the law of assumption to yeah. just get what you want you finally understand that the real lesson is yeah. why am i always doing that why am i always trying to change correct make someone give me something get some yeah. more out of somebody what's wrong with me that i do that know that yeah and then you kind of wake up and go, that's not love. Yeah. 
that's control. It's manipulation. It's trying to force. It's trying to push. And then when you get that and you go, you know what? I'm going to work on all this stuff just because I want to feel better because I'm so sick of this. Yeah, that's what it was for me. Just that's when me. things change. I think that is a massive, yeah. massive, untalked about moment. It's mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. I think people, I, you know, I think it is as well. I think a lot of people are scared to let go of it. Yes. <laughs> In yes. case they don't get it, it's, yeah. it's the fear. Well, if I let it go, I might not get it. Yeah. But I've always found that if I do, yeah. I get it. You know, and it's it's hard. I think it is a hard thing to, to kind it of is. get your head around, isn't it? Well, if I just stop thinking about it. I know. I'm not going to. Uh, it, it might not come you yeah, know no. and it's, it's so done. the opposite it's so it the opposite it is it's 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 yeah. literally yeah it, i know but it takes a while what quite a while to work that out you know yeah it does it it, it really is it, it, and you get i usually see with people they hit the wall from exhaustion from doing yeah. law of attraction yeah then they go why am I not manifesting? I'm doing all this stuff. And it's like, well, it's one simple thing. The energy of his exhaustion is highly negative. Yeah. It's not great. you pushing, pushing, doing, 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 LOA, LOA, LOA. That is still trying to come at it through force. It's not yeah. coming at it through a soft, open hand. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I think it's one of the biggest lessons. The letting go <clears throat> is a massive part, massive. Yeah absolutely huge yeah you know and i just think and it's not even you know letting go doesn't even mean that you'd never have to think about it again it's like no. don't, don't force yourself to go i'm not thinking about it i'm not thinking about it i'm not thinking about it because that yeah. just makes it worse as well yeah. it's like i used to find that if it had come up i'd just go do you know what i've already imag- imagined for that yeah. i don't need to keep thinking about it a lot of give myself a pep talk every now and again like, yeah it's true yeah you don't need to think about that now because mm. you've already imagined it it'll just come when it's ready yeah. and then i find that i could just move on and yeah and sometimes i'd have to do that like loads of times a day you know yeah so you know yeah but you get oh. to a point where you get to a point where you trust what you're doing you trust yep. the process like yeah. I, I, I can literally be at a point now where I'll just write something down and it'll, I've got a whole book actually yeah. I've, just, I've just written a sentence like yeah macbook now that I'm talking to you on I literally just wrote down I got a free macbook and then at Christmas my SP brought me a macbook and I was like no hey there's a free macbook and all I did was write it down once yeah. so it's like but but yeah. because i trust it and i don't trust yeah. it hard, i'm just like yeah. yeah write it down if it happens it happens if you don't don't shut the book move on and, with my life yeah and, you yeah. know so it's it's brilliant it's yeah. um, i think i think those people that do it that way with that soft open hand because yeah. it goes into massive obsession for a lot of people yeah and i think that's the handbrake if yeah. you are, there's a very fine line between focusing and being obsessed. Yeah. And if you're in obsession, mm-hmm. that's coming from lack and needing to get. If you are in that, you know what? I love that desire. That'll be fun. Yeah. And now I'm off and I'm going to cook and I'm going to eat and we're going to watch Netflix and you get on to doing that. Yeah. And you've said, like you say, you just trust that I know how this works and it's not through squeezing the chicken by the neck. Yeah. It's not. It's it's that really focus and then let go. Focus and then let go. Focus, yeah. go and do other things. Focus, yeah. go and do other things. That's and it. that is the ease, the ease, yeah. the ease. It's a beautiful thing once you get to that level where you do it with ease because yeah. you don't get all these breakdowns of, you know, intense emotion. You, it's like you instead of having a journey like this, it's more like this and it's yeah. so much easier. Oh my God. So like, much yeah. So so much easier. It was yeah. so hard for me in the beginning. Now oh. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you get more secure in your belief in yourself. So yeah. you just go, ah, oh, I want I'd like to manifest that. That'd be nice. Yeah. Remember how you manifested that and you manifested that and you did that and you let it go and it manifested? Let's do that again. And you talk yeah. to yourself with that self-assurance. You reassure your own self. It's like I think I always find that if you if you've got 
a lot of other things that you even if they're tiny little things to manifest yeah. loads of other things to manifest and keep a record of what you're doing yes then you'll see what works for you yeah you know, that's what I did I've got like a book and I've got all my manifestations in them and I've got yeah. the lines and how long each one took and yes and I've got all sorts so if ever I was in a place where I was like I'm just not I want this and I can't have it I'll just go back yeah. to and read it and be like yeah. look at all this stuff that I manifested mm. and so you can't I'm, argue with that because it's fact it's, it's fact, fact. It's all there yeah and I just I've just realized yeah this is a manifestation of mine okay because one time when my SP decided to f me off yeah <laughs> one of my imaginal scenes was me telling you that I yep. manifested him back and here we are so and here we here's are a, here's a you, manifestation you can write that in the book I'll and write, write that, that the book. And, and just so the viewers know you and I, this is our fourth attempt at having an interview because yes. my partner got COVID. I was looking after him and then I booked it in with you and then I got COVID and then I yeah. thought I was okay. I was still stuffed. So this took four times to get you and I here. It did. And today we did it. And we did it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> That's lovely. That is so <laughs> lovely. Now, before we go... Would yeah. you be willing to come on on a separate day and share your brand new meaningful work? Yeah. Conversation? I mean, yeah, I can do. Yeah. It's quite a simple one, but yeah, yeah. Not too long. But yeah, yeah we can do a short one because I think, you know, a lot of this stuff, it gets so focused on relationships. We need to yeah. think and talk about other things. Other things. As part yeah. of our well being, as part of who we are. Because if you have, great work you're making enough money you've got great relationships with your dog your kids your your yeah. family your friends you bring that to the relationship yeah because you're not focusing your whole entire life around this person and everything else is not very good but you're not you don't care about that because you just want that yeah you, know, you build the other parts of your life that is rich soil and fertilizer for the oh, relationship yeah. nice <clears throat> yeah okay well you and i will sort that bit out and do you want to say goodbye to everybody stacy or say any last words yep um so last words yep. I just chill out <laughs> just chill with, with out. an f with an f in there <laughs> yes. F in chill out. <laughs> oh i think that's really good advice well, thank you so much for coming back to give you time to help people that are still, you know, really needing inspiration because we all need inspiration along the way. And so many of you come and, and, and give your time and share it. And, and that's such a blessing for people again and again and again, new inspiration, new story, new manifestation. So it's good. So thank you, Stacey. No worries. I will put down below anything that you mentioned that you used or that was really helpful. There is a revision playlist, which as we know, comes from Neville. We give him the credit because that's yeah. where it began. Yeah. Love Neville. Um, me too. He's, yeah, he's just a, a golden jewel in this whole yeah. journey, that's for sure. And I have to say that after 30 years of reading him, I feel like I am starting to understand. I thought I understood him after a year or two, or but it's like, the yeah. more you continue, like with anybody, not just Neville, Joseph Murphy, Florence Gogglesham, you continue to read it. As you start to change, it's like that stuff comes alive in a different way. Yeah. It's like you see it differently <laughs> as well. Totally, you know, totally. You see it completely differently. It yeah. makes more sense. It so, makes yeah. more and more sense. If you keep reading it, you will read the same books you read when you first met, met Neville or heard about Neville. And yeah. the same books will be totally different to you because you've developed and matured and changed and, yeah, you know, learnt to chill out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everyone for joining us. And I will say, see you in the next YouTube and Stacey, stay on and we'll say bye in private. Bye everybody.